Hey dudes, it's Whitney and Chloe here and welcome back to the Doodle Dudes channel. So, you've narrowed it down and you're 100% sure you want a golden doodle. Congratulations! You are in for years of fun, laughter, and grooming. But let's say you can't decide between an F1 and an F1B golden doodle. What's the difference and which is best? Luckily, we have had literally hundreds of doodle parents fill out our survey on doodle temperament and characteristics. And after analyzing the data, we can pretty much safely say that there is no real difference between F1 and F1B golden doodles in terms of temperament. But we have noticed some significant differences between the two in regards to grooming and coat care. So in this video, we're specifically going to talk about those aspects. Let's get into it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more doodle content. So I will include a link to the page on our website that has all of the graphs you're going to see in this video. And if you go to that page, you will actually be able to see the graphs that are updated in real time as people submit their responses to the survey. How cool is that? So be sure to check that out. Also, I would say to keep in mind that these survey results are self-reported and anecdotal. However, that doesn't make the data less valid, especially as we are able to observe a general consensus. Finally, in addition to F1 and F1B golden doodle data, the graphs will also show F2 and other other golden doodle generation data. We're not going to discuss those in this video per se, but they will be there in the graphs if you're interested in looking at those as well. And just a note that the other category of golden doodles include multi-gen and people who are unsure of their golden doodles generation. So let's first look at amount of shedding. This graph is going to show survey results of golden doodles and how much each generation tends to shed. Poor would mean a lot of shedding, while excellent would mean no shedding. So here is the graph for amount of shedding, and looking at the gray and mauve bars for an F1 golden doodle, most parents of F1 golden doodles rated theirs as excellent and very good. This means the amount of shedding for an F1 golden doodle is typically minimal or non-existent, However, there were also some rated satisfactory, fair, and poor, which means a lot of shedding. And if we look at F1B golden doodles, we can see here with the gray bar, an overwhelming majority of owners rated their F1B golden doodle as excellent, which means no shedding. Only a few others were rated as very good, satisfactory, and fair. And at the time of this video, none were rated as poor. So what does that mean? So F1B golden doodles are typically pups whose parents are an F1 golden doodle and a poodle. Now, I don't know if you know anything about poodles, but poodles are very low shedding dogs, typically non-shedding and are actually considered hypoallergenic. So these results actually do make sense because F1B golden doodles in theory are about 75% poodle and only 25% golden retriever. So in other words, more poodle DNA equals less shedding. Now let's look at how hypoallergenic each generation of golden doodle tends to be. In this graph, poor means that allergies are always triggered in their humans, while excellent means allergies are never triggered. So in regards to F1 golden doodles, looking at the gray and mauve bars again, most parents rated their F1 golden doodle as excellent and very good. This means that F1 golden doodles typically do not trigger allergies and are considered pretty hypoallergenic. However, there are still a few that were rated satisfactory and fair. For F1B Golden Doodles, if we look at the gray bar, an overwhelming number of owners rated their F1B Golden Doodle as excellent. This means that they typically do not trigger allergies and only a few were rated anything below excellent. So what does that mean? 
These results are pretty similar to the previous chart for amount of shedding, and this actually makes total sense because allergic reactions are typically synonymous with how much a dog sheds. Finally, let's analyze how easy to groom each generation of Golden Doodle tends to be. In this graph, poor means that a lot of grooming is required, while excellent means no grooming is required. For F1 Golden Doodles, if we look at this brown bar, most owners rated their F1 Golden Doodle as satisfactory. This means that they require more grooming than the average dog. And if we look here at the F1B Golden Doodles, most owners rated their pup as satisfactory or fair. This means that they require a lot more grooming than the average dog. So what does that mean? These results make sense because of the coat type differences we usually see in F1 and F1B Golden Doodles. For instance, with F1 Golden Doodles, their hair tends to be more wavy than curly, and then vice versa with F1B Golden Doodles, where their hair tends to be more curly than wavy. This actually makes F1B Golden Doodles a little bit more prone to matting, which means that daily brushing and very frequent grooming are are highly, highly important for them. Now, F1 and F1B Golden Doodles alike, grooming is no joke with these little jokesters. <laughs> we hope you soon-to-be doodle parents are prepared. And if you haven't heard the stories before, well, sometimes people will pick up their doodles from the groomer and be in total shock because their dog was completely shaven down without warning or consent. And this is usually due to matting issues. And as doodle parents, we really need to be extra mindful of our doodle's coat type. And if the coat is not properly maintained, it will definitely mat up and cause a lot of issues. P.S. If you are a doodle owner and have not yet seen our video on line brushing, I would definitely recommend checking that out right there. So, Chloe, in a battle between F1 and F1B Golden Doodles, who wins? If you're seriously considering bringing a golden doodle into the family because you've heard that they never shed, or maybe you want a dog but allergies run in the family, to Chloe's dismay because she's an F1 and I'm biased, but an F1B will probably be your best bet. However, F1B Golden Doodles do tend to cost a little bit more than F1, and as mentioned before, they typically have more curly hair that requires more frequent grooming. So really, it does depend on your personal preferences for coat, appearance, and budget. So there you have it! I hope you found this video informative, and I also hope that it helps you to make a decision. In my experience as an F1 Golden Doodle parent, I would definitely agree with the F1 Golden Doodle survey results. If you're currently a Golden Doodle parent, leave us a comment below and let us know. Do you agree with the graphs that we showed today? All right, dudes, thanks so much for watching. Whether you're brand new around here or have been with us from the very beginning, Thanks for sticking with us. Create a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable doodle content. Later dudes! Sit. Speak.